Well, if there's one thing you could depend on in a cold Canadian winter to rise out of the snow and show the world what it's got, well, that's my floppy cock. I just got done putting an alternator in it. Let's see what's going to happen if it starts and can it make it out of this shit and drive. Now I'm just going to throw that battery in. <laughs> Definitely been sitting a while. Well, that's the new one or used one I just put in. Cost me $35, spending some of that YouTube money anyways. Let's do it. She's in. Well, since this thing's four-wheel drive, and the air hasn't leaked out of the tires, let's see if it'll drive through a foot and a half of wet, heavy snow. Actually, first let's see if it's going to start. It did start last winter, but the alternator started squealing and burning the belt. Alrighty. Something's happening. I don't know what noise is, but anyways. Try again. Come on. Let me take a look. Well, I didn't see anything wrong, so let's try again. Unless the gas tank rotted out and is leaking. I'm not having much luck this year. What the? Not showing much. Oh, gee. Probably all leaked out. Take two. We got some gas in it now. Okay. Prime it. Sounds like there's a motor in behind there which I never heard before. Let's see. Still not showing anything. Um. What the hell? How could it run fine last year and not this year? Gee. Well, I guess I'm too old. I can't depend on my floppy cock anymore, but I did find the problem. The mice did chew the wires. Right down here below the battery. Way down in there. There's a whole bunch of chewed up ones and severed ones. I got a lot of work on a warm day. If we ever can get one out here, 